User Guide for the Ico and Igor Animation for Autism app Animation for Autism is an animated video series designed specifically for young children with Autism Spectrum Disorders ASD. To ensure that you maximize the benefits associated with this app, we've created this video to help you learn how to use the app with children with ASD and to reference over time. Step number one, download the app for free from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Step number two, open the app and click register. Step number three, enter an adult's name, email address, and password. Step number four, verify your account and then head to the home screen and let the learning begin. Step number five, the app provides the option to download the videos locally, which can improve streaming speed and ensure a great experience for the child in case any internet connectivity issues occur. Subscription Options Step 1. When you register, select whether you are an organization or an adult to view the subscription options. Step 2. Once registered, or when you sign into an existing account, select the appropriate subscription option that is the best fit for you. You will have the option to select a free trial for 15 days before paying for your subscription through the App Store. Step 3. After you've selected your subscription option, you can add a child or multiple children by going to the menu and then selecting Add Child and entering the child's information. Before you use the Learn Together option to track data, select the child that you're using the app with. App Overview The app homepage includes six episodes targeting research-supported communication, play, social, and imitation skills that increase in complexity. The app uses different themes for each episode, such as shapes, animals, and colors, to create consistency within each episode. Before you use the app with your child, click the three lines on the top left. There are three important functions to explore before using the app with a child with ASD. Number one, click Before You Begin. Next, you will see two buttons to help you learn more about the app. Both of the buttons reveal important details to ensure you understand the different functions of the app, how a child with ASD can independently enjoy the app, and how an adult can use it as a tool to practice skills with a child. Both are associated with benefits for your child. App Features displays the three ways to engage with different episodes. Play video and skills games are for a child to use alone or with others. Learn Together is designed specifically for a child and adult together to practice developmental skills. App instructions include a critical resource called the Learn Together Guide. Read this webpage for important tips about how to use the Learn Together function and how to maximize learning experiences for a child with ASD. Number 2. Click Episode Roadmap to see a color-coded reference page and to learn about which skills appear in which episodes and chapters. All children benefit from practicing different types of skills, and the Episode Roadmap enables caregivers, therapists, and teachers to individualize the learning experience to each child's specific needs. Number 3. Click Data Dashboard to see where a child's data will be stored when you use the Learn Together function. These data are designed to help adults track a child's progress and will not be used for any other purpose. The app tracks the amount of needed support – more, same, less, independent – and dates of use. You can review a child's progress as a whole in the overall summary or specifically by episode or by chapter. Let's explore the episode content. Currently, Episodes 1 and 4 are free on iPad, iPhone, and all Android devices, and the other four episodes are available for an in-app purchase of $1.99 each. Each episode includes three different ways to engage with the animated content and a Materials Needed section. Let's learn about Materials Needed. We highly recommend learning about all of the materials you will need in the different episodes and having the items in a container near you while you use the Learn Together function with a child and as you switch from chapters or episodes per your treatment plan or per a child's request. Materials Needed Each episode includes different toys, snacks, or activities, so please check each episode to learn about the different materials to have present when you and a child use the app together.
There is no need to buy new toys, and we suggest using whatever items you already have in your home. For example, use an action figure or any character in place of a baby doll, or a real spoon instead of a play spoon. Let's play video. Play video allows your child to view the animation either as an entire full episode, 10 to 11 minutes in length, or in shorter scenes, 1 and a half to 2 and a half minutes in length. All episodes and scenes are listed in the episode roadmap. In play video, a child can enjoy the animation independently or with others, siblings, peers, adults. Let's learn together. Learn Together uses the same content from Play Video and provides video models of skills, embedded pauses, instructions, and data collection to support you and a child with ASD in practicing skills together. Number 1. A valuable aspect of the app is the data collection component to track your child's, client's, or student's data. Number 2. Take each pre-survey at the beginning of each episode. If you are unsure whether your child can complete a skill independently over time, we recommend that you select P for prompt. Number 3. In Learn Together, each video includes embedded pauses with accompanying instructions that pop up after the characters model a skill. Every skill has a minimum of one pop-up with instructions to allow you to practice the skill with a child in real time. To repeat the brief video model, click Repeat. After your child practices the skill, click Play. In some cases, you may see two pop-ups because a few skills ask a child to practice commenting on another skill in which an image from the video is needed to allow you and your child to practice the skill together. Pop-up number one, Instructions. Press Play to begin practicing. Pop-up number two, Image to support skill practice. After the child practices the skill, you will be prompted to answer one question about the child's response that will be stored in the data dashboard. Click More Info About Prompting Support Levels for a refresher about prompting levels. After answering the question, the video content continues until the next embedded learning opportunity, three for each scene, 12 opportunities per episode. Please reference the episode roadmap to see which skills are included in which episode. Quick tips, practice with another adult or child before practicing with the child with ASD so you can feel calm and confident while supporting your child through this new learning process. Number 4. Based on research-supported principles, we'd like to offer a few Learn Together tips. Before using the Learn Together function with the child, let the child choose which videos and games to play a few times. Watch the child to learn which parts of the app they like. Sit in a position that supports you and the child sharing eye contact with each other, not with the child in your lap. When the child is talking and sharing things with you, we suggest that you fully engage during these moments and expand on the language they use. Teach the child how to ask for a break while using the Learn Together function. If a child sees a frog and points and says, frog, you can point to and respond with language just above his language. Wow, it's a green frog. Focus on having fun and connecting with the child. Let's play skills games. Skills games provide another opportunity for a child to practice skills that are modeled throughout the videos. Skills games can be played alone or with others. The skills targeted throughout the games include matching, identifying shapes, objects, and animals, turn-taking, social engagement, fine motor skills, and identifying emotions. Reference our episode roadmap to learn more about the skills targeted in each game. Additional important features. To turn the Learn Together function on, click the button with the adult and child holding hands. Doing this will enable you to access the Learn Together function. The button will not include a red line and all of the app features will be available. The Learn Together function is on! To ensure an adult is present to turn the function off and back on, you'll be prompted to select the correct answer to a multiplication question. When Learn Together is turned off, a child can access play video and skills games without accidentally entering the Learn Together function. Due to the embedded pauses and data collection, a child could become frustrated with the app. 
To prevent any unnecessary distress, we recommend turning off the function when you finish practicing skills with your child. The bubble now includes a red line. The Learn Together function is off. The sharing icon is on the top right. You'll be prompted to select the correct answer to a multiplication question. Share Here allows you to share the app with people who you think can benefit from downloading it. Thanks for sharing. Resources Read our Resources page to learn about digital and national resources that may be of assistance to you and your family. If you have any specific questions about using the app, feel free to email us at support at